Hi, Goldstar here. Deep Lane in 5 minutes, episode 4. Swing arc and club path. Uh, first of all, we should give golf Nobel Prize to Professor Yogensen. Those are such a tremendous invention in golf theory. Okay, uh, the swing arc. Swing arc is the lower part of the shaft plane in downswing. And in trackman, the angle here is called a swing plane. So swing plane is angle, not the plane in trackman definition. And uh, when you take a uh, normal of this uh, swing arc at low point, uh, the angle between target line and uh, this normal is called uh, swing direction. The swing direction is a uh, a direction you are actually swinging. On contract, the club head direction, uh, as we talked in a previous episode, this uh, blue arrow is a normal of the swing arc at impact. Okay, at impact, this uh, blue line. It is a 3D direction of the head movement at impact. Uh, in this video, uh, we have a precondition which is a zero path. Zero path means uh, club, club path equal face angle. Face to path is zero. Straight ball. Okay? And uh, what happens when we hit at low point? In this case, the normal of club head direction equal to swing direction. And uh, since uh, club head direction is horizontal, it is also equal to club path. This means that uh, the ball goes straight to the swing direction slash club head direction. However, uh, we normally hit in front of or after the low point, right? For example, in iron shot, we contact before the low point. What happened in this case? In iron shot, we contact before the low point here. In this case, uh, club head direction is plus to the right and downward relative to swing direction. We call it out in the down impact. In contract, uh, the driver uh, the upswing is recommended, right? And uh, in that case, uh, we contact after the low point. In this case, club head direction is minus to the left and upward relative to the swing direction. We call it in in the up impact. Now let me explain this using the D plane on the swing arc model. This is the D plane on the swing arc model. And when we see this model from the top, we have uh, three D planes on each impact. And from front view, uh, this is the uh, low point impact, iron impact, and uh, driver impact. And we see uh, the swing direction is downward or upward. And from behind, uh, we see the direction of the club path, in to out and out to in. Those are what out in a down and in in up mean. How can we hit it straight to the target? Again, the precondition is zero pass, straight ball. In driver shot, uh, if you hit in in the up swing, the club pass is minus to the left of the swing direction. This means the ball goes straight to the left of the swing direction. Uh, the solution is uh, pretty simple. Just adjust your swing direction to the right. This means uh, face this plane to the right so that the uh, club head direction, this blue arrow, is in line with the uh, target line. Now uh, we are talking about uh, geometry, 
mathematics, not the swing technique. Since uh, this video is not a golf lesson, please contact your coach how to adjust your swing arc in order to achieve the straight hit. Okay, let's check this concept using the D-plane on the swing arc model. Okay, let's check it with the swing model. This is the zero pass. I'm making the iron impact. Swing arc to the left and uh, out in the down impact. The club pass is uh, from the top, now in line with the target line. This is the driver. Impact after the low point. Impact happens on a swing arc. And the uh, driver impact is after the low point. From the top. Now the club path is uh, in line with the target line. Yellow bar is the swing direction. It's to the right. From behind, the club path is in line with the target line. And up. Okay, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna cover the vertical component of the D-plane, launch angle, and the vertical spin. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye!